Hello! So, welcome back to the very first episode of the HTML and CSS series for the photo gallery design that I created in the previous series. So, in this uh, episode, we're going to set up all the settings and the files ready to actually convert the PSD into HTML and CSS. So, the first thing we're going to do is go up to Site and we're going to click on New Site. So, I'm going to call this Photo Gallery and I'm going to put it in a certain folder. You can put it where you like. So, I've created a folder called Photo Gallery and I'm just going to click on Select. And then I'm going to go to Advanced Settings here. And it's going to ask here for our default images folder. So again, I'm going to click on this. I'm going to create a folder here. I'm going to call this images. I'm also going to create another folder in here and call this style. And then the final folder we'll create will be called JS for JavaScript. And then we're going to select the images folder and then click on select one more time. So that's about it. All we need to do for that. So I'm just going to click on save. And as you can see now down here in the bottom right hand corner, we've got the site defined and we can now see the folders and all of that good stuff. So we need to create some files now. So I'm going to right click on style and you can't see this, but I'm going to go up to the very top that says new file. And I'm here I'm going to type in uh, main.css. So with that one created, I'm going to click on the top option here and mine says photo gallery. So right click on that and again click on new file. I'm just going to call this one index.html and then on the JS folder I'm going to right click on that one create a new file so I'm going to delete everything that's in there I'm going to call this functions.js for JavaScript and that's about it for all the files that we need so I'm going to open up the index I'm going to open up the main style sheet so if we just go back to the index we need to obviously include that on our page so I'm just going to create some space underneath here and I'm going to type in the following so link rel and then we're going to select style sheet and then type text CSS and then we just need to link to the actual file now so href click on browse and then we'll just go to the style folder and select main CSS and if we just close that off we've now included the style sheet on the actual page I'm going to give the page a title, so I'm just going to call this Photo Gallery. Save that. If we go to the uh, design view, there's obviously nothing there because we haven't changed anything. Um, and that's about it really for the index so far. We just need to get into the main style sheet. And I'm going to create a, a style here, so star. And we're just going to reset the margins and paddings for the whole document. So margin, zero and the padding again that'll be zero as well so that's pretty much all of the files and everything set up so if we just open up Photoshop and have a look at the things that we need to uh, slice out of the document and add them into the HTML and CSS so looking at the design we need to create two sort of sections so if I just zoom in as you can see we've got the header here with the navigation but that stretches all the way across the width of the actual site so we need to create a header container then inside of that container we need to create a center container that's 960 pixels wide uh, and then once we've done that we then if I just zoom out slightly we've got this main section that really only needs one page wrap which will then wrap around all of the content and keep it in the middle of the actual design for us so if we sort out the markup first and then we can come back and slice out any images that we need so first of all I'm going to open up Dreamweaver again and in the actual index I'm going to create the following so just below the opening body tag I'm going to create a div and I'm going to give this an ID and I'm going to give this the ID of header container and then just close that off and then I'm going to come down a couple of lines and add in my comments so I know which one it belongs to and also bear in mind I'm adding the camel case to the actual word so two words together the first letter is lowercase and then the first letter of the second word is capital so if you put a capital here you have to make sure you do that in the CSS as well so talking of the CSS we should do that now so I'm going to copy this and then into the main CSS I'm going to create an ID of header container 
and this is going to have a width of 100% and it's also going to have a height of 33 pixels so if we just look at that in design view you can see we've got a div in here now which is 100% and 33 pixels high so we just need to figure out the colors so I'm going to go back to Photoshop I'm going to zoom in and here is our header so I'm going to grab the eyedropper tool by pressing I on the keyboard and just click on the actual color go to the color picker and this is the color here so it's 2D 2E 3-0 so I'm just going to copy that and then head on back over to Dreamweaver back into the main CSS and we're just going to add on here background color and just paste that on so now we should have a bar that goes all the way across which is that, that color so if we just open up a browser so click on the globe go to your browser of choice so as you can see there it is it's not very exciting at the moment but it's there nonetheless now we need to add some border bottom to that if you remember in the Photoshop design if you look here if I zoom in a bit more we created these two one pixel lines so the color of the first line is the same color as the main background so I'm going to grab the eyedropper tool just click on the background and we can go to the actual color so this is the color we want so it's 3A 3C 3E Let's copy that head on back over to Dreamweaver so in the CSS we want to add a border bottom to the header container because that stretches all the way across so just after the background color we are going to say border we're going to say it's a one pixel border it's going to be a solid line and it's going to be the following color so we'll just paste that color in so if we just save that we're not going to see a major difference with that just yet so we'll leave that for now so we need to consider now this background now we don't want it to be white we want it to be the colors of the same as the Photoshop document so if we just go back over to Photoshop and we click on the main background here it's the pretty much the same color as that line so I'm just going to copy the text just to make sure and if we go back to Dreamweaver so we want to uh, add this onto the body tag because that encompasses around everything so this one here as you can see it goes around everything so in the CSS we're going to say body and we're going to say background color and then just paste that in and close that off and now if we go back to the index and go to design view you can see now we've got that in place so we've got quite far with just a few lines of code so the next thing we need to do is I think we should create the center container to hold the navigation and to have the ribbons up here in the top right hand corner so what we'll do we'll go to the CSS and if we just create a bit of space down here I'm going to grab this comment and just paste it below and I'm going to put in here general styles so I need to we need to create a, a class now a class can be used multiple times on a page and ID can only be used once per page so the class we're going to create starts with a dot so all classes starts with dots and we're going to call this center container and we're going to give the, the container the width of the actual design so the width we created initially in Photoshop was 960 pixels the height will leave because that will auto uh, expand and contract now we want to center this in the middle of the, of the page so we're going to use the margin property and we're going to say zero auto and then close that off so what that will do so the zero here means the top and the bottom margins we want, we want those to be zero and this one here means left and right which we want to be auto this is shorthand so if you wanted to do it longhand you would do that which means exactly the same thing so this is the top property this is the right this is the bottom and this is the left so the easiest way I can remember that is just think of the a clockwise direction so 12 3 6 and 9 so I'm just going to put it back to the shorthand like that so if we go back into the CSS into the index we need to add the container into the, the design so inside of the 
uh, header container. I'm going to create another div with a class, and it's picked it up for us here. So center container. Close that off. Create our comment as usual. So center container like that. And again, we're just going to nudge that down a little. So with that in place, we now need to add in the actual menu system. So for the menu, we're going to use the uh, unordered list or ordered list, which doesn't really matter for this. So we'll go with an OL for ordered list and then just close that off there. So we need to create a list item and then inside of the list items, there are going to be links. So I'm just going to create a dead link. So the dead link is this sort of uh, hashtag. And then we're going to call this one home. Close off the, the link and then close off the actual list item itself. So to save a bit of time, I'm going to copy, paste a, I think it's three or four, was it? So home services. So port folio. And I think the final one was contact again. You can mix this up. You can change it to what you like. So if we just look at that in design view, so as you can see here, this uh, yellow dotted line is the actual center container. So if I click here and you look at the very bottom, it says div with a dot, which means the, the class and it has center container. And inside of that center container, we have this, um, this ordered list of links. So we need to style these. So in the CSS, well, in fact, we're going to target them. We're just going to say an OL that has a list item that has an anchor link, do something. So first of all, in the CSS, I'm going to create another uh, comment. So just create a bit of space, paste this one here. I'm going to call this one header styles. For people who've seen my previous uh, tutorials, you've seen all this before. But I'll, I always do it this way. It just keeps it nice and simple. So create a bit of space so you can see this. So it's going to be an OL that has a list item. We're going to do something. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to say float to the left. Now, if we just see what that's done, you'll see now if we go to the design view that all the links now are actually sitting right next to each other. And you'll also notice here as well that the each of the list items have a number next to them because we've used an ordered list. So that's like one, two, three, four. If you use an unordered list, that's you have the sort of like bullet points next to them. So we're going to want to remove those. Now, the easiest way to do that on the list item, we just want to say the following list style and we're just going to say none so that will now remove all of the one two three fours so they've all gone now so that's that bit done so the next thing we want to target the links in particular now so i'm going to go back to the css i'm just going to grab this to save a bit of time paste it below and we're going to say an ol that contains an li that has an, an anchor link do something so the first thing I'm going to do is make them a lot bigger. So I'm going to give the following property, I'm going to say padding of say 10 pixels like that. So that'll do padding on the top, the bottom, left and the right. And if we just look at that in design view, you can now see that they're a bit further apart and they've got a bit more spacing now. So we also want to change the color of the actual links themselves. So again, we're just going to say color. And we're going to put that to white, which is FFF, or the shorthand is FFF. To do a full hand is six Fs. So I'm going to save that. And if we go back to the index, you can see we're starting to get somewhere now. Now I want to remove the underline. Now the underline doesn't look that nice when it's on, but when you hover over, it's quite a nice effect. So to remove the initial underline, if we go to the CSS, and just here, we're going to say text decoration. And we're just going to say none to remove that off the uh, link in its standard state. Now, if we go back, you can see that's been removed. So we're also going to want to move these down uh, into the middle of the actual nav navigation bar because they're far too close to the top. So the way we're going to do this is if we go to the main CSS, we're going to just above here, we're going to target just the OL itself. And we're going to say padding 
on the top of about five pixels and just close that off. So as you can see that the, the links have now dropped down just five pixels to come into the middle of the actual navigation bar. So if we just open up our web browser from earlier on, now if we hit refresh, you can see the site's completely changed. We've got the nice uh, color on the background. We've got the navigation links up here and we've got them in the middle of the bar. Now we need to change the sizes, which we'll do in the next episode. So as usual guys, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments below. Feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.